Stephen A., describe what we just saw. Sensational, electrifying, or dropping. I mean, it's, it's hard to put into words the greatness of this dude. Uh, but he put it on display and basically put the world on notice. There's levels to this. There are stars all over the place. There are even superstars that you can look. But there's still another level. And there's nobody on Sacramento that could touch that level. Wilbon and I watched this game together. And I literally said, Wilbon, I'm not definitively stating it. I had to be educated, Jalen, by the Godfather. I had to be educated by other Hall of Famers who will remain nameless. But I literally said, we need to have the discussion as to whether or not this man is the greatest point guard who has ever lived because when you're talking about impact and the fact that he could affect so many things because of his shooting ability, I, I, I've never seen anything like it, it but, but I'm not surprised. Historic, that's the word. Mm. 50, 50 in a game seven, 50. <clears throat> On the road, 50. <clears throat> it, it, it's never happened. Not, not in the, since the merger, not, you know, in the era of this or that or these combination garbage statistics. We just saw the greatest Game 7 offensive performance. I was trying to figure out, like, when have I ever seen a Game 7? Char Charles Barkley had a 44-24 and 24 rebound game, I think, against Seattle, which means against Sean Kemp. Yes. That's crazy. But this... He, he he demoralized the opponent. Mm. Clay's not having a game. Clay and Wiggins can't hit a shot. And Steph Curry demoralized the number three seed, a team that had been just beat them down in San Francisco yep. the previous game. That's Less how great Steph Curry was. And one thing, Stephen and I, that we're going back and forth. At this point, we got time because it's a 20-point game. <laughs> we were going to drag Jalen in. He was trying to concentrate on the game itself. We're talking about, like, who's done this? Who could do that? Mm -hmm. And, and we, we can't, we're talking about Magic. I mean, Magic had, of course, it was a game six. People have to remember. Yes. 45, 42-15, 42-7 against Philly on the road. But now we're talking about rarefied mm. air. We're talking about the people on the Mount Rushmore of basketball are the only people to have the kind of game Steph Curry just had. So, people, if you watched it, savor it. If you didn't, Go watch back a and replay, do it again. <laughs> yeah. something, get, get a hold of this and, and see what you missed. From a historical context, you guys nailed it. So, I, I'll go X and O's wise. For years, I've called Steph Curry the vanguard of this era, mm -hmm. not a point guard or a shooting guard, something that we'd never seen. And all of us grew up in one way, shape, or form watching the Harlem Globetrotters. And I always wondered what it would be like if Curly Neal or Marcus Haynes played in the actual NBA. Mm. And when you call Steph Curry the greatest shooter that God has seen, it's not just catch and shoot. Usually the best shooter doesn't have great handles. Usually the guy with great handles isn't one of the best guys to play off the ball and do dribble handoffs and relocations. He does that as well. We're not even talking about the multiple finger rolls like George Gervin yep. he made in today's game as well. Playing with his mouthpiece hanging out of his mouth, mm. okay? This is something we've never seen. A, a, a game seven is so very incredible. Yep. How we talk about superstars and lifting their team when it matters the most. That's what we saw, Stephen And let's not forget the last part. When it's six minutes left, he already has 45. And there's a timeout, and he's looking into the camera, and he's walking off and saying, they can't finish. Mm. They can't finish. Yep. That's what he was saying. Mm. This is what he Ooh. does. I would be remiss not to mention the efforts of Kevon Looney. 21 rebounds, yes. Michael Wilbon. He had an incredible task here going up against DeMontis Sabonis, who had uh, excellent offensive, particularly first half in this game. And then nothing. And then nothing in the second. And Kevon Looney's task does not get easier from here because now we get LeBron versus Steph. We get the Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Lakers. The first time that we have seen these two Titans go head to head in the playoffs since 2018. Your initial thoughts on this series, Mr. Wilbon? I, I, I just I can't wait to see it. I'm, I, I feel grateful, to be honest with you, to be able to watch Steph versus LeBron one more time. And now Looney, you mentioned Looney. Anthony Davis can't go every other game against this dude. Mm -hmm. You see how many times consecutively he had his hands on balls on missed teammates' free throws, shots, 
defensively how he's playing. And that's a different dimension mm -hmm. than the Golden State Warriors have had previously. Let me tell y'all something. There's two people, two marquee people who were watching this game today. LeBron, who loves the game, who cherishes the game. He's a savant, obviously, the Mount Rushmore that appreciates the allure, the attraction, the draw, and all that comes with him going up against Steph Curry. That LeBron who's looking forward to this and the other LeBron that's saying, damn, <laughs> I really, really, really wanted them young pups in South in Sacramento because it would have given me a better chance to get to the Western Conference Finals. Now I got to go against this dude. Again. And it, and it don't feel good. Those were two people watching that game today. There's no way to talk about all-time great players without at some point mentioning how many championships they have. And LeBron is in his 20th year, and we know how many championships he's accomplished. But now it's going to be a younger group of people who've been watching the league, say, the last 15 years. They're going to possibly get a chance to see Steph Curry eclipse LeBron James. Yep. In head-to-head -head matchups, he has a better playoff record against LeBron James. Mm -hmm. And this year, it's going to be interesting to see which one of these guys as all-time greats are able to eliminate one from the playoffs. Steph Curry, 15-7 and seven against LeBron all-time in these playoffs. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.